I had the privilege of getting to introduce one of the developers of Privacy Badger at the Electronic Frontier Foundation to a group of Norwegian journalists. And he got to talk about a lot of things. Um, he got to talk about like doing research uh, on uh, like all this legal stuff, but also like what pri Privacy Badger does and like why it's important. So I use it all the time. Um, it is something that allows you to get around a lot of the tracking that mm -hmm. is built into the internet. And if you've ever tried to share like a news article or like an item like for sale or something else, and you see just this monstrously long link with like all these random numbers and other stuff, like that is what I'm talking about. So you can imagine like there are a lot of ways that, you know, stringing on like additional like uh, characters at the end of a URL can enable tracking. And what Privacy Badger does whenever it can is chop these down into regular links, remove the affiliate stuff, remove the tracking codes, remove all of that and make it so that um, you can not be tracked everywhere you go. And uh, this is really important for privacy. Like without this enabled, it allows all these companies who specialize in tracking to really like fine tune their profile of you as you move around the internet. And it means that they're able to like, you know, on a lot of these websites, watch you go from website to website and stitch together your traffic from a variety mm -hmm. of different places. So um, highly recommend Privacy Badger. It is a great tool and they have had some updates um, so some of that is fighting the way that Google has adapted to these sorts of measures mm. and making it so that they are blocking a lot of these tracking requests at the network layer instead of just chopping off the links.